You must be out of your mind, Thomas. Oh, so now I'm the crazy one? What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm not the one taking those damn pills every day. Those pills help me get through the day, okay? I need them. Yeah, I just can't believe you're even considering this. <sighs> there is no way that we can take care of a child. But it feels like the right thing to do, okay? I'm not getting any younger. Oh, that's not the point. Right? I, I'm, I'm worried about the child here. Do you really see us as parents? Stop for a moment and think about all the men and women who have had this conversation before us. Okay? And, and then consider those who decided to keep the baby, all the love and the joy they experienced. Yeah, and then all the, the torment and hell that they went through. You are so cynical. No, I'm not. I just don't sugarcoat everything the way that you do. When are we going to have a child? I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to answer that question, but clearly not right now. I think you're going to make a great father. All the kids we know love you to death. Yeah, the point being that those are other people's kids. Not ours. I get to give them back. <laughs> okay? I mean, did you ever stop to think that maybe I get my fix by taking care of other people's kids? Okay. Now, think about the next 18 years. But aren't you at least a bit curious about this baby going inside of my belly? You know whether it's going to be a girl or a boy, what he or she might look like? I'm curious, yes. But I'm not ready to bring a child into this world. I, I, we're talking about a living, breathing baby here. I, just the thought of it scares me to death. Stop it, Thomas. Stop being so afraid of everything. Millions of people have gone through what I'm suggesting. We are not millions of people. Fine, fine. Remember that uh, dog that we adopted? One from the shelter? Love taking care of him. <laughs> yeah. And I also remember him almost running out of water on three separate occasions. How can you even compare a child to a dog? God, you always look at the negative side of every situation. No. I look at the facts. Instead of looking at the world through your rose-hued glasses. What if I told you I was going to keep the baby, regardless of whether you wanted to or not? Then I would say that you're entitled to your... Decision, but don't expect any help from me. Please don't put me in this position, okay? Why can't you just agree with me? I can't agree with you because you're being incredibly selfish about this. <sighs> you're, you're not thinking about the consequences of your actions, the consequences for the baby. Why are you so stubborn? The only one being selfish here is you? Why won't you at least just take the time to consider it? I'm not ready to have a baby, Dana. I just, I, I don't feel comfortable bringing a child into this wretched world. Oh, okay, so now the world is wretched? Fine, Thomas, have it your way. We will grow old and bitter all by ourselves. I'm not bitter. You just, you're not looking at the big picture here. All right, I, how are we gonna take care of a child? On my salary? And what about you? Your job? I mean, I thought you loved your work. I guess I didn't think about the specifics of the situation. You have a pretty bad habit of doing that, don't you? You don't think, you don't plan, This would completely change our lives. I don't think it's selfish not to give the child a chance. Oh, fine. I'm done with this conversation. Now I have to deal with your attitude for the next couple of days until you forget that we've had this argument. 
Excuse me? We, we still have a decision to make here. I've just... I've seen too many people do this for the wrong reasons. Not now. Okay, Thomas, I, I don't want to talk about it. 